I am Santosh Gaidanka. This is the today's problem. In the last class we have discussed when the force act over the piston. Now one more force act over this connecting rod. We have to draw the static force analysis diagram. First take a reference. AB is 45 degree. AB is 300, that means scale 1 cm is equal to 100 mm. This is 600 centimeter, that is 6 centimeter. Join this part. Here the piston will be there. The force act here. The P is equal to. 2000 newton one more bd is nothing but 200 ml it is 2 cm and the force act is fix is a b this is c the force act 60 degree from this side degree where q is nothing but 800 newton this is the first part we have completed next you have to bring this after this one go for naming fix and always consider as a link one 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 this is two this is three and this for piston will be four go for naming force m one two f 2 3 that means 2 link pushes to 3 3 4 and last we have f 1 4 now draw the links individually here it is 3 centimeter it is 3 centimeter and this link is connected here therefore draw exactly parallel to this one but we don't know the magnitude of this one and next and this will be unknown for us next go for this link exactly parallel 6 cm six centimeter if we don't know the forces we don't know the power forces here force direction we don't know we have to find out for this one because one more link act here sorry one more force acts here at point d so first to resolve this one i will consider this one first draw the piston simple problem but most of the student fail to draw this concept you 
where the force act here P 2000 Newton next one more link here it acts here it acts as a three body diagram three force diagram here also we know that the, this link is pushing this one that is F 3 4 is pushing to this one but but we don't know which direction the vector direction we don't know next if it is a piston always we have to draw a perpendicular to this link line even though we don't know the vector representation which direction it will act now based on this one i will consider the scale one centimeter is equal to 200 Newton will drop from this point ten centimeter the arrow is this side draw it this is P is nothing but two thousand Newton next draw the line parallel to this one this side we don't know the length and draw the line with respect to this one this end in this way you will get the force polygon if the arrow is this side the next arrow should be this side next arrow should be this side that is the concept of force polygon this is the this link is nothing but f34 we have to calculate It is 10.5 10.5 into 200 Newton it becomes 2100 Newton this one doesn't require that means the force act the vector represent should be in this way uh, further vector should be in this way now this is complete first part first part after completion just transfer the link here transfer the force to this side whatever the force is there it act here just transfer it that means this is the force but in opposite direction here you have 4 3 the value will be 2100 Newton. Well, we know that the one more force acting over this link about D. About D. About D. Draw here this line exactly parallel to this one. degree the arrow will be bottom and Q will nothing but 800 Newton but we don't know this force which direction the force will act because there are two known forces where we have to predict the third force it is very easy just you have to consider this one and this force in order to find out the resultant that is F 2 3 we can find out it first we will go for the scale for this diagram I will consider the scale 1 centimeter is equal to 200 mm sorry 200 Newton that means I will draw exactly parallel to this one ten point five Ten point five. I will draw it. The arrow is this side. As per the force polygon, if the arrow is this side, next should be exactly at the bottom. 
this will be in this way it is 800 means it is it should be 4 4 this link is f 4 3 2100 Newton and this should this is nothing but Q 800 Newton the arrow is this side listen it properly if the two arrows are given first arrow this side you have to draw this line next you have to draw this one in order to create a closed loop and draw the total line here in order to get the force 2 3 this will close the loop and this is nothing but f 2 3 f 2 3 now this link has to be transferred over this one just with the help of a ruler just move it out and transfer here now in the opposite direction but the force is 2 3 if it is 2 3 the next force is exactly parallel to this one at the beginning I have just drawn here roughly but this line has to be transferred exactly parallel to this side next after getting this one draw a force exactly parallel to this side but in opposite direction opposite direction now extend the line and find out the torque this is the H this is F 3 2 F 1 2 now T is nothing but what F 3 2 into H F 3 2 is already known that we have to find out this one sorry we didn't find out we have to find out this one it is around 13.5 13.5 13 13.5 into scale 200 newton the answer will be 13.5 into 200 2700 newton substitute here because 23 is nothing but f 32 substitute here the value 2700 into h into h h is around 2.3 2.3 into scale 100 you get the answer 27 into 2.3 into 100 you will get the answer 621 triple 0 newton mm just divide by 1000 you will get answer as 621 newton meter this is a type 1 problem one more type is there in that type you have to go for splitted form first you have to find out the torque of this one next you have to find out the torque of this one by using the superposition method this is the easiest method this is a type 1 method you can find out directly without multiple without adding t1 and t2 this is the answer thank you very much for listening